Elvis Presley and His Vehicles Part 12 The Lincoln Premiere In early July 1956, Elvis and a few of his friends went to Biloxi, Mississippi for a couple of weeks of fun in the sun and to spend time with Elvis' girlfriend June Hornico. They drove there in Elvis' 1954 Cadillac convertible and his brand new 1956 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. A few weeks later, when they got home to Memphis, Elvis started to look for a car to replace the 1954 Cadillac convertible with. He really had no need for two drop tops. His girlfriend June Juanico said, he needed to buy a Lincoln Premier, so maybe that's why he did just that. His two first cars were Lincoln so after buying five Cadillacs in a row, he probably just wanted to try Lincoln again for a change. The Premier was introduced in 1956 as an upscale version of the Lincoln Capri. It featured a 368 cubic inch, or 6 liter, V8 engine producing 285 horsepower. It was approximately 223 inches long and the vehicle weighed 4,357 pounds, base MSRP was $4,601. The Premier was the top-end Lincoln model, though it was substantially different from the much more expensive Continental Mark II, sold by Ford's Continental Motorcars division. On July 21, 1956, Elvis went down to Corbett Motor Company on Union Avenue in Memphis and traded his 1954 Cadillac convertible for a 1956 Lincoln Premier Coupe. The color was wisteria purple with a white roof. When asked why he bought a Lincoln this time, Elvis answered that he was just varying his interests. Here's Elvis at his home on Audubon Drive with his newly purchased Lincoln Premier Coupe. This photo from late July 1956 is also from Elvis' home on Audubon Drive. We can see Elvis' pink 1955 Cadillac in the background and the 1950 Chevy panel truck in front of it. The car the lady is leaning against is the purple 1956 Lincoln Premier Coupe. The bump on the rear fender is the fresh air intake for the optional air conditioning, which Elvis' car was equipped with. On July 29, 1956, Elvis and his friend Red West and Cousins Jr. and Gene Smith took the new Lincoln and headed for Miami, Florida since Elvis and his band started up their 10-day Florida tour on August 3rd. On the way down they stopped in Biloxi, Mississippi and visited Elvis' girlfriend June Juanico once again for a couple of days. This photo was shot at the Gulf Hills Resort in Ocean Springs, where they stayed during their visit in Biloxi. Elvis Lavender 1956 Lincoln Premier is parked in the middle. These photos are from a movie clip shot in Biloxi at that time. Here Elvis is having some fun practicing clay pigeon shooting. In the lower left, Behind Elvis we see the purple 1956 Lincoln Premier Coupe parked. While in Biloxi, Elvis met a couple of June Juanico's friends. One of them, Buddy Conrad had just inherited a large amount of money and went right out and bought a mint green 1956 Continental Mark II. Buddy showed it to Elvis and let him take it for a spin. Elvis really fell in love with that car, which was the most expensive car you could buy at the time. During those days in Biloxi, it was decided that Buddy, June and her friend Pat Dacey would join Elvis and the guys on the Florida tour. On August 2nd, they took the 1956 Lincoln Premier and Buddy's 1956 Continental and headed for Miami. Anybody see Elvis and his Lavender Lincoln yet? On August 3rd, Elvis and the Blue Moon Boys had three gigs at the Olympia Theater in Miami, and the day after another four shows. While Elvis was performing and when the car was parked outside the hotel, fans got to his brand new Lincoln Premier and wrote endearing lipstick notes all over the car. In the morning of the 4th of August, Elvis and the guys went to the car dealer Miami Lincoln and Mercury and turned the Lincoln in for an all-white 1956 Continental Mark II. Now Elvis drove the same car as his new friend Buddy Conrad, so they continued the tour with twin 1956 Continentals and the 1954 Cadillac limousine which the Blue Moon Boys drove. Whatever happened to Elvis' Lincoln Premier after he traded it in at the Lincoln dealer in Miami is unknown. Since the car was only two weeks old, they probably just cleaned it from the lipstick marks after displaying it for some time and then sold it to a buyer who didn't know or care about the history of the car. This wasn't the last time Elvis rode in a Lincoln Premier though. On September 2, 1957 Elvis took the train from Seattle, Washington to Portland, Oregon. When he arrived at the Union Station. He was picked up in a 1957 Lincoln Premier convertible. Later in the evening he was driven in that car to and from the stage at the Multnomah Civic Stadium to escape the crowds of fans.
And that is it, on this subject. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more episodes about Elvis cars.